Good morning, and welcome to Cam Look, your twice weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum, where a member of the Cam family shares a work from our collection and poses questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. Hi, my name is Greg Irvin, and I'm the Associate Director of Foundation Engagement here at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And I'd like to share with you one of my absolute favorite pieces in the collection, Romanian Blouse by Henri Matisse. The first thing that might strike you when looking at this work is that it seems unfinished, sketchy even. It almost looks like it was painted in two minutes. What makes this a good painting? To answer this question, it'll help us to look back at Matisse's life and artistic career. Born in 1869 and raised in northern France, Matisse exhibited little interest in painting or drawing during most of his childhood. At the age of 20, he moved to Paris to study law, where he would have learned about the many avant-garde art movements, such as Impressionism, blossoming in the city. After returning to his hometown, he began taking morning drawing classes, and soon enough had begun an apprenticeship under celebrated symbolist painter Gustave Moreau. Originally, Matisse's paintings were quite dark and muted, but following a 1904 trip to the south of France, Matisse began to embrace the rich and vibrant hues of the region in his artworks. Working alongside a group of like-minded artists, he pioneered a new art movement that would soon be called Fauvism. Common characteristics of Fauvism were unrealistically bright colors and thick, dotted brushstrokes. In many ways, Fauvism expanded on the innovations of post-Impressionism and paved the way for numerous future art movements, from Cubism to De Stijl to German Expressionism. Though he was first seen as a radical, Matisse was soon embraced both for his mastery of color in painting and his less-is-more approach to drawing. His most celebrated pieces not only demonstrated a perfect harmony of color and shape, they were often designed for the spaces they inhabited. In many ways, Matisse was one of the first artists to think outside the canvas, considering how his works fit within the world around them. Moving back to Romanian blouse, we find a prime example of Matisse at the height of his talents. Splashes of pink in the bottom left and yellow-green in the top right corners draw the eye to the edges of the canvas. The model rests diagonally across the canvas. She holds a string of dotted pearls, and her dress is adorned with a variety of colored stripes and zigzags. All of this adds vibrancy and movement to the work. Channeling his Fauvist roots, Matisse wasn't concerned with making a realistic piece. He was instead interested in building harmony through a symphony of brilliant colors and shapes, a difficult task for the untrained artist. Unlike most artists before him, Matisse saw the surface of the canvas for its materiality. He didn't mask streaks of paint or underdrawings. In many ways, the unfinished quality of this work serves to make it feel even more playful and spontaneous. This approach would go on to influence countless artists. Nearly every art movement in the 20th century owes some credit to Matisse, from abstract expressionism to minimalism and even to pop art. So, the next time you're exploring ours or any art museum out there, if you encounter a work that looks like it's unfinished to you, Try to consider the qualities that the artist saw that made them feel satisfied with it. It might even help to take a step back and look at the work as a whole. For some artists, it's not about the details, but rather making something that's greater than the sum of its parts. Thanks again for taking some time to learn about Romanian blouse with me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.